It's estimated that about 90,000 seniors fell victim to elder fraud last year, accounting for more than $1.7 million in reported losses. And while it may sound unbelievable, even the former director of the FBI and his wife became victims. Royce Jones joins us with their story that the FBI wants your family to hear. Royce. Well, Ken, the whole issue of fraud, but especially elder fraud, exploded during the COVID-19 pandemic and keeps blowing up. The number of scams targeting seniors in 2021 was 74% higher than the previous year. Former FBI Director William Webster and his wife Linda would know. They tell KDKA that they received six or more scam calls in a single week. And in this particular case, the guy claiming to be David tried to trick Webster into a multi-million dollar lottery scam. And when Linda told the fraudster not to call back, he lost his mind, threatening to shoot the couple and burn their house down. Fortunately, being who they are, they have connections with the FBI and CIA, which helped them identify the criminal. But not every senior has these connections or even somebody to look out for them. The Websters are sharing this advice with your family tonight. And the only way we can solve it is working together as a community. The younger people have to keep an eye on grandma and grandpa or mom or dad or an elderly neighbor. I know it doesn't sound quite right, but we do have to listen on the other end of the phone. We do need to look at the checkbook. We do need to look at the mail from time to time just to be sure that somebody's not taking advantage of somebody we, we love dearly. And for those who have fallen victim, the average loss in 2021 was about $18,000. However, last year, more than 3,000 seniors lost over 100,000 to elder scams. The FBI hopes calling attention to this will help keep criminals out of our seniors' pockets. Back to you.